So as we get into this kind of, you know, rubber meets the road part of uh, batteries being replaced and uh, vehicles going in, it's kind of helpful to know uh, what they're going to do to your vehicle and uh, how you can help. So Hey, and welcome to another episode of Plug and Play EV. This one, uh, getting back into that lovely old Bolt EV recall, but with some good news uh, in October of 2021 with the battery replacement starting up and starting to get a feel for what people are seeing as they take the cars in, in that first batch and what we can expect on the other side. So let's uh, take a look at hopefully the last one of these uh, Bolt EV recall updates and uh, what you can expect to see if your car is first in line. Let's go. So I'm here at one of my local uh, Chevrolet dealerships just north of uh, Boston, Massachusetts, place we actually got our re most recent uh, service done at 22 and a half thousand miles, uh, but that was just tire rotations and uh, the regular in and out. Uh, the battery recall is obviously a much bigger fish to fry and uh, with some of the first uh, 2019 models going in to uh, get their battery replacements in the last couple of weeks. So this follows on from the news uh, last month in September around the 20th that uh, all of the uh, vehicles affected, which is every Bolt made essentially, and every Bolt EUV as well as the EV, would be getting a, uh, a new battery. Uh, every Bolt under this recall is into two categories um, and two different recall numbers. And as they get called in to have a battery replacement will be migrated to another recall number. So forgive me reading off my phone here, but it's the, um, the 2017 to 2019 models, which of course were the first ones to uh, be included in this and uh, that's uh, the first recall dating back to the, pretty much this time last year. They will be under right now N2123438801, and we'll put this up on the screen. And when they're ready to be repaired and the dealer has uh, parts for them with a battery, they'll be under N2123438801 upwards to and including the new uh, Bolt EUV and the 2022 uh, Bolt EV refreshed are under recall N2123459400 and they will be migrated when they're ready to N2123459941. So they'll put this up on the screen so everybody knows what they're looking for. So essentially GM is prioritizing um, a batch of the, uh, certainly those earlier model years and it seems to be the 2019s at the moment. But those folks who are in that, uh, that priority group will get a letter and uh, can also check in the My Chevy app when they're eligible for a recall and then they'll be put into that uh, plus one number that we just read out. Uh, if you want to check where you're, when you're manufactured, you can take a look at that in the door here. So at that point, they're going into the uh, dealership and that's when they're, they're able to make an arrangement to uh, get that battery replacement. And it's important to point out, this is a full battery replacement planned at this point in time, October, 2021. But those are starting to go in, seen a few people starting to report that. And uh, there's a few things that they were made aware of that uh, will be good to know if you're in that group especially, but even if you just wanna know, you know what to expect as you come into this uh, Bolt TV battery replacement uh, service and what will make it easier for your dealership to turn this around more quickly. So from the first people and from the advice from the uh, GM tech there, uh, one of the biggest things is to not charge your car for 24 hours before you take it in. Now, obviously, if the dealer has it, they can then say, well, they'll keep it a little bit longer if you have charged it within that time frame. But it sounds like it's going to extend your uh, appointment and perhaps, you know, throw out the, uh, the service schedule. Um, the other point is a bit more obvious. Um, it needs to be below 90%. Um, that's pretty much what we've been told to do anyway. So anyone charging above 90% is kind of outside the GM guidance in the first place. But, you know, make sure your battery essentially is powered a 90% state of charge or less and uh, don't charge it within 24 hours of your appointment. That's pretty much it. Uh, it should make it as easy as possible then for your techs to jump on it and to uh, to go in to do the pack replacement. And yeah, as far as how to, uh, to select the dealership, that's usually a good indicator if they have a lot of Bolt EVs and Bolt EUVs on the lot. If you know over time that this uh, that particular dealership in your area has been selling them or trying to sell them, that's usually a good sign that they are an EV friendly 
and experienced dealership. But call the concierge line if you're unsure, they'll have all the data on who's been uh, certified, who's got the, uh, the kind of track record with electric vehicles. So as far as software goes, we are now in the second part of the uh, self-given deadline of GM of 60 days from their original September announcement when batteries started to be produced and replacement packs were uh, starting to be shipped out to dealers. They also had a software announcement to say there would be new uh, diagnostic software to go into every bolt and that would help the ones that aren't prioritized, so presumably 2020 like this one, 2021s, 2022s and the EUVs. Uh, they would get diagnostic software which would return full functionality, so charging to 100%, not worrying about the below 70 miles guidance and being able to park wherever you want. Uh, we are now into that second month, if you take 60 days as two months. This is the second month and GM should have an announcement on that pretty soon, hopefully. We really want to, you know, you're pushing up against winter now, um, so you head into November, you're really hoping that they can put this software in place. Whether people trust it or not is another question mark, but, um, you know, if it is to a point where it's a, a diagnostic that's able to check your cells and uh, look for abnormalities that they've learned about after a year almost of investigating this, trying to figure out via that diagnostic software whether anything looks abnormal and whether they should shut off charging accordingly. It's designed to detect specific abnormalities that might indicate a damaged battery in both EUVs and EVs, monitoring the battery performance, alerting customers of any abnormalities, and prioritizing damaged battery modules for replacement. So that's kind of, um, you know, again, it's just what we knew already. It's not really adding anything to that. Um, kind of throws that module language around again, where you're thinking more of the pack than uh, individual uh, cells or packs of cells. So the, the language is not as clear as it could be. But again, this is really just kind of hurry up and wait. We need to just monitor the app and uh, continue to be aware that at some point pretty soon, GM's gonna have that software. And again, it's gonna be an appointment for uh, going into the dealership. Even if they don't have a replacement pack for you, that's gonna have to happen to go in there, put in this software and uh, have that return full functionality. So I think people will be willing to do it for that fact alone that you can get back to 100% and uh, not worrying so much about your uh, charge, state of charge. But again, that's you know, it's kind of frustrating because that's an extra visit. So if, I mean, obviously they're not gonna have enough replacement packs to do every bolt in the next uh, 30 to 60 days, which means that there's gonna be a trip for the software, a trip for the pack, and you know, who knows what else. In terms of prioritization for uh, the pack replacements, obviously we talked about the cluster of fires being in that uh, 2019 model year and uh, those produced specifically kind of late 2018, early 2019. Um, that's still going to be, you know, there'll be clusters after that that, uh, that affect prioritization. And uh, that's stuff including mileage, how you've charged your vehicle, whether vehicles have been deep discharged down to a low state of charge, then charged all the way up to 100% regularly. Um, how the car's used is going to be the biggest, um, the biggest indicator of that most likely. But again, none of this is, uh, is made public. It's all GM's kind of um, secret source, if you like, to identify who's going to get those pack replacements. So as more come in and more people start reporting, you know, uh, that they've gone in for their replacements, we'll uh, look and see if there's any kind of pattern there. But for now, we expect 2019s to be prioritized backwards through 2018s and 2017s, and then eventually we'll get to 2020s and beyond. So I'm also going to include in the uh, description down below a bunch of um, kind of further reading and resources that relate to um, both this recall and just the battery pack in general. There's, some, there's a bunch of videos out there from very uh, trusted sources and uh, kind of Bolt EV authorities that I'll uh, put in the description because they're interesting to watch if you really want to see what's happening with your car. We also recently watched at a local uh, auto repair shop that specializes in uh, EVs and hybrids, a Nissan Leaf Gen 1 uh, battery replacement. So it's kind of interesting to see that, see the old kind of uh, 
packs getting slotted into a slightly newer but essentially the same kind of uh, model um, and that's kind of what you can expect with the bolt you know so it's interesting to kind of see those you know out of the car so that's uh you know where we are right now i uh, hope this has been a bit useful i'm trying to just kind of put the information all in one place um, obviously if you are on these forums already you probably know some of this but a lot of people don't go on those places or don't uh, read into the the corners so hopefully it's been useful and if you've got any advice yourself if you've been in to, to do your replacement if you're scheduling now um, let us know down in the comments as this kind of progresses it'll be interesting to see if we can use this as a, a place to add some of the resources down below thanks for watching have a good one see you in the next one